Hey friends, today I am back with more DIY and decor ideas that are super easy, adorable, and affordable for Valentine's Day, so stay tuned. This is Whiskey and Whip. My name is Whitney, and on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. I also love to do seasonal decor specifically, wood build, cricket projects, just all the things around DIY. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video. So most of the projects in today's video are also going to be Dollar Tree DIYs. This first one is so affordable and easy to make. You'll be able to whip it up in no time. So this starts with some leftover cardboard boxes. I just cut the flaps off some Amazon boxes and I started by cutting some rectangles that looked like envelopes. I also took one of my hearts that I made in my last video. So I had something with a heart shape that I could trace and then cut out of the cardboard. The key here is to have some sharp scissors. Then I grabbed my white paint pen and drew an outline on all of the rectangles to look like envelopes. I did some with solid lines and some with dashes. And then I grabbed my hearts and did the dashes around the outside of those as well to give them a fun little whimsy outline and make them pop instead of just being the cardboard brown. Then for my envelopes, I used some of these felt stickers I've been using throughout the season from Dollar Tree and then used my handheld hole punch to put holes in all of them so that I could string them up. This is just Dollar Tree jute twine that I strung through making sure that the bulk of the jute was behind my cutout. And then I strung this up to my mantle. This was so easy to put together. I love the craft paper look because it's brown from the cardboard and the pops of red is just enough to make it perfect to go with my Valentine's Day decor. This next one is perfect if you don't have a lot of time but still wanna be festive and they are really quick and easy and beautiful. These are heart cutouts that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and I stained them with dark walnut stain. Then I just took some painter's tape and found a spot where I wanted, not necessarily the middle. I did this one a little bit higher than center and I used this cameo pink acrylic paint I got from Walmart and I painted this baby pink color on the bottom. So I'm going for a two-tone look here. I've been doing these for pretty much every season and I absolutely love them with the Dollar Tree wood cutouts. Make sure you get your edges and then I also did one in red. I just did the top of that heart in red versus the bottom that I did in pink. Then when you're done painting and you know you're not gonna paint anymore, I just rip off the paint wet so I don't have any peeling. And then the last step is to just take some jute twine and re-string them up. So then that way you can hang them on any wreath or door that you currently have. I have two wreaths in my front entryway and I was looking for a way to make them into seasonal decor. I just hung these up and they gave a really pretty pop of color, super quick and easy, and you could customize these in whatever colors that you want to match your decor. I mentioned in my last video that Finn is obsessed with the mail truck and so when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I knew I had to pick it up. It's just a little ceramic unfinished truck that our mail is delivered in and I just went through and started coloring it just like it was a coloring book. This was actually super fun to do. I started by taking a gray marker, coloring in all the windows and the different grates. I went through with different colors to do all of the hearts and the wording. And then my favorite touch was adding a blue and red line around the outside so it really looks like a USPS mail truck. Finn absolutely loves this. I have to keep it up high so he doesn't grab it because it's definitely not a toy, but he does love it and it goes really well with the Valentines I made in my last video. So if you missed that one, I will link it for you. This all kind of goes together. And chances are if you see something displayed here that isn't in this video, it's either in my last one or it's coming soon this week in my next video. If you've been around a while, you know I love transforming these Dollar Tree reception wedding arrow signs. And so I didn't have them last year for Valentine's Day, so I had to do a Valentine's version. I am using the color Princess Pink to give the sign three coats of paint. And then I just added a fun decal to the front. This is a free cut file that will be available over on my blog. So just follow the link down in the description and you can get it downloaded. I cut it out on some matte white vinyl, used my paper transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl. I get so many questions about this and I think this is the best selling Cricut thing I have ever shared. It is the best because when you go to put it on freshly painted surfaces like I'm doing here, your decal sticks but your paper does not and you're not going to rip anything up. 
I absolutely love this cute little Cupid's confectionery sign. And if you can't find that particular sign, I've got a, another option for you. You can just grab one of these arrows from the crafter square section, just the unfinished wood and give that a coat of paint. I ended up doing red chalk paint for this one. And then this is another free cut file that says step right up to the kissing booth, same transfer tape, same vinyl, same process. I've got two different sizes of this file over on my blog. So just make sure if you're doing the reception sign or the larger arrow, you just grab the right one because this one's just a little thicker than the other signs, but how stinking cute. I'm always looking for smaller items that I can add to tiered trays or little vignettes and this teeny little mason jar is it. I grabbed two of these salt shaker little glass mason jars from Dollar 25 Tree and took off the lids when I got them home. I made sure to get off any of the stickers and then I grabbed some fabric that matched my motif. This came from Walmart, but you could use whatever. You could use felt, you could use fabric from Dollar Tree, tons of options. I cut out a piece that I thought would be the right size and here there's no like specific measurement. You're just gonna wanna hold your lid on your fabric and create a circle so you've got a little bit of overhang. That's gonna give you kind of the flaps around the outside. I added some hot glue to the top as well as the sides to get everything to kind of hook down so it wouldn't move. And then I put the string over the top. So it looks like I just tied it on all fancy, but if you try to tie it on without the hot glue, it is kind of a nightmare. So just put on the hot glue, save yourself the headache, and it will still look like you did it. Do any trimming if you need to, and then I thought it would look cute with two little red hearts, one on each side. These are those felt stickers I've been using for everything. They came in a pack of 100 from Dollar Tree as well. These are so cute. I'm gonna put them on a tiered tray. And what I also love is with the fabric and everything, it looks great with all of the other projects I'm doing. So I like to have things with character, but that are also cohesive. Now for 2022, Dollar Tree has some of these book stacks you can buy in store. None of my stores got them, so I decided to make my own. I had this Dollar Tree crate that I had previously painted in an ombre pink to do a book stack, and it just wasn't going with my other decor. So I decided to paint over the second and third little rung, I guess, to make it look like a pink, white, and red book stack. So you just go through with a paintbrush and just paint each of the three little rungs there on the Dollar Tree crate. And you wanna make sure that you take your paint all the way around to the side so that it looks like three pieces of wood are stacked when you put it on whatever you're doing to your tray or little vignette. Then when the paint was dry, just for ease of use, I just cut out Happy Valentine's Day from my Cricut, but you could handwrite this, you could use Dollar Tree rub-on transfers, or what I like to do is I have a pack of stamps from Michaels and to stamp it on, I just wanted to crank this out this day and get it done because if you kind of peek up in the right-hand corner, you'll see Finn on and off. So I was multitasking this day as I was crafting. And hence why my D was a little crooked, so I had to reapply, but there's cute little buddy. I finished off my book stack with just some baker's twine. I had this from Christmas and it works seamlessly into the Valentine's Day crafts. Now, another thing to keep in mind is I decorate my whole house because this is what I do. This is my job. Don't feel like you have to go all out for certain holidays. You could do a cute little three item vignette like this, call it a day, and it will look awesome. I just like to coordinate things in odd numbers. So threes, fives, sevens, and there you go. It is super easy to put together with just a couple items. You don't have to go gangbusters to get a fun seasonal look. A funny story with this project, I was actually gonna use a Dollar Tree heart for the front wood piece and then cut out some foam board for the back. Well, I ended up finding this cut out on sale at Hobby Lobby and it ended up being like 240. And so for an extra dollar and change, I just decided to go this route. I also grabbed one of these hearts from Walmart for a couple bucks because Dollar Tree didn't have them when I went originally. So I had to do a couple runs for the items in this video. Now I wanted to paint the back in Buffalo check and it's been a while since I've shared this technique. So we're gonna flip it around and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So the first step is to give your item that you're gonna paint with a Buffalo check a base. So I decided to do white chalk paint. I did two coats, made sure to get the edges and made sure it was all covered. 
Now it's time for buffalo check. So you're gonna need some sort of painter's tape or washi tape to make your grid, and I'm using one inch painter's tape. This is the Scotch brand. I'm gonna start by taking a little spacer piece of tape and putting vertical stripes across the entire heart. The spacer piece makes sure that I have like evenly spaced strips and try to get them as straight as you possibly can. It's not gonna be perfect, but do the best you can. Once everything is pushed down and in the right spot, then you're gonna take your lighter color of paint. In this case, I'm using the color camo pink and I am painting the vertical stripes. Make sure everything's covered and then let it dry. Once it's dry, take those pieces of tape and peel them off and set them to the side. As you can see here, I'm just putting them in order on my table, just so then that way they are there because you're gonna need them again. So don't throw them away after this first step. Then you're gonna repeat the same process, but horizontally. Once that tape is all laid out, then I like to go through with a pencil, pen, whatever, and mark on the painter's tape where those original pieces of tape were. So as you can see here, I'm outlining those white stripes because sometimes when you get painting, you're not gonna remember where those pieces of tape were and it makes it hard to get everything to line up to get a really pretty kind of gingham print. So once you go through and make sure that everything's marked, then you can go ahead and paint the exact same way, but then you're gonna have those little guide marks to help you put your tape back so you can create those squares and essentially the buffalo check. Once that's dry, leave that tape there and you're gonna replace all of your pieces of tape across your heart. So use those lines that you drew on, you're gonna be thankful that you did, and put the tape right back where it was before. So you're essentially covering those white stripes back up. What this is doing is it is creating squares for you and it's creating squares where your pink lines overlap. And if you are familiar with Buffalo Check, that's where your darker color goes. I decided to do a red acrylic paint, but you could use a darker pink. You could really do whatever color that you want, but I just decided to do pink and red because that's quintessential Valentine's Day. Now I did a light coat of red over all of the exposed areas. Some will be full squares, others will be little kind of bits and pieces around the outside, but I made sure to get everything covered. And then while the paint was still wet, be careful of your fingers so you don't get fingerprints on anything, but I just went through and peeled back all of that tape to reveal your really pretty buffalo check. Now for that second heart, we're gonna borrow the same technique that we did before. I stained it with dark walnut stain, and then I painted the bottom to give it a two-tone look, so I still had that dark wood stain on the top. And then I cut out Be My Valentine in this free cut file. This will also be available over on my blog. Added it with my paper transfer tape, so this is the exact same process I did with those signs earlier on. Peel that off and then I'm kind of using that divider line to be exactly above Be My for Valentine. I got everything applied and then my last step before I glued it all together was to just take some fine grit sandpaper. I'm talking like a 220. I'm not trying to take anything off. I'm just trying to soften everything. And then I took some hot glue, put it on the back half of my front heart glued it down and then added some jute twine so that I could hang it back up. Jute twine's more my vibe, but if you like the bolder colors, you could reuse that red hanger from the beginning. Now, as a reminder, you could definitely use a Dollar Tree heart as well as Dollar Tree foam board to cut out a heart in the back. You would paint it the exact same way, glue it and hang it up, but I really like this. It's a perfect addition over my coffee bar and super affordable and easy to do. Thanks so much for watching. Also, if you loved this video, I've got another video chock full of more Valentine's DIYs that I will link on the screen for you. If you're new, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.